I think someone's got a big happy face. You grab a blower, I'll distract them. Recording. Alright, well, here we're going. I we snuck out of Nashville because I'm here with my mom and dad. And I convinced my mom to drive up to, up here to the National Corvette Museum. And I've been here once before a few years ago. But I gotta bring mom along with me this time. So this is it right here. Woo! So exciting! And I just made a phone call to one of my Holly connections. And hopefully we can get a tour of Holly Performance, which look, I've worked with them in the past, so we'll see if they can get me into the headquarters, which would be crazy. Those are all Corvettes. Yeah. We gotta that, go in there. Isn't that so cool? We gotta go in there. We could spend like a full like day here, but we got minimal time. We gotta get at it. Oh boy! So they actually, the production line of the C8s are here, and you can pick, you can, I think you have to pay an extra grand or two. There's a C8 right there, actually, as we talk about it. Yep. And you can pick up your C8 from the factory here, and, like, people, like, clap hands, and you see people buy the C8s here right when they come off the line, which is really cool. Look at all these Corvette guys. Maybe they're going to go buy a C8. Maybe we should buy a C8. We should buy one. Sometimes I forget I'm driving automatic and I forget to put in park. Are right, you ready? Yes. We're officially here at the entrance of the Corvette Museum. Sorry. It's so windy. I'm so excited. My mom's never been here. Let's get it. He's like, Yay! Yay. <laughs> Everyone's so excited. Hopefully you guys can hear me, but I am at the Corvette Museum finally. We just got inside and I had to stop right away at this clay model because this is exactly what I did in school. If you didn't know, I attend Art Center College of Design and this is awesome because it has the wooden buck and then it has the foam on top. And the reason they do the foam uh, underneath the clay is so they can actually save money on the clay because clay is a lot harder to work with than just cutting off foam. And this automotive clay is very specific for the car modeling uh, models. So they do as minimal clay as possible on top of the foam. And this is just so cool to see because this is exactly what I do at school. And this one like design hip line is like very similar to the Camaro and it's been on the Corvette for as long as we know. It's awesome. So let's make it around. This is so cool to see like a full American thing because we went to, me and my mom went to the Ferrari, uh, was it like the Ferrari Museum? Yeah, in Italy and Murano and we got to see the Maserati factory so it's really cool to see, you know, US made stuff. <laughs> this is so cool. I know everybody talks about this Corvette right here, the race car, and it's still super dirty. Where's my mic? It's all still <laughs> disgusting. 2016 Rolex, 24 hours of Daytona. This one. I feel like I would pick this car out of any from this museum. This thing's crazy, and that wide body on it. Do you like it, Mom? Yeah. Pretty cool. <laughs> wow, it won. It's automatic. Semi-automatic. Oh, it has to be for race cars nowadays. And this right here is pretty cool. This is the 2018 uh, test car for the C8. So it did all of the testing on the track. And for the test cars, they have to wrap it in that camo because they always want to hide the design lines and they always cover up a lot of like the tail lights and the black graphics on the back of the car. So, you know, us when new cars come out, we never know exactly what it's going to look like. And each individual car always has its own unique camo, actually. So I was just looking at the Type R one, the new one coming out in 2022. It has all like R's all over it. And so this one is unique to the Corvette.
these are really cool to see because these are um, basically original renderings from the mid 60s for the Corvette. And if you look at all the different uh, pre-runs of the Corvette, they named them so many different names, like XP's 819s, this one, yeah, this one's the XP 819, and, but yet they look so different. So I think they're just trying to figure out what they wanted the Corvette to look like, and these are actually made on pen and paper with gouache. For the coloring, a little bit of ink as well, they're gorgeous. Then this turns into, right here, I guess they call it the Ugly Duck Lane. This is one of the pre-production cars to figure out what the design looks like for the car, which eventually turned in to the Holy Grail. This is one of my favorite Corvette generations out there right now. So pretty. It's the C3. I honestly didn't even know Chevy came out with a rotary, but I guess this one has a rotary. I just know the Mazdas <laughs> are all the ones with the rotaries. Ooh, calipers. Brembo, that's what I have on the Camaro. These are pretty. The lighting in here is so bad. Dang, and I finally found my first right-hand drive C8 Corvette. I've never seen a right-hand drive Corvette before. And I guess this is the very first one ever made. <laughs> it's cool to see. My mom's excited to see this because the floor collapsed and they actually have all the original cars here shown. And that's what the sinkhole looked like when it all fell apart. These poor cars. This is so cool. I don't remember this last time. That's how deep it went. That's spooky. So I just got a text. <laughs> Alex is hooking it up. He works for Holly, by the way. He said he can get me on a few lead follow laps at NCM Motorsports, Motorport, Motorsports Parks. I'm so excited I can't even talk. So that means we're gonna go on the track today. I am so excited and we haven't even, I'm freaking out. So I haven't died yet, I'm just so excited for that. All right, well, we're gonna go around the track in a C8. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Your face is red. <laughs> I know. I'm so excited. <laughs> this, is, this has been a dream of mine. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my god. <laughs> She's living it. It. <laughs> Spin up. Why are you on the red and white? Oh my god. That's what you do. <laughs> Stop. You make me nervous. No, you're doing good. <laughs> I think someone's got a big happy face. No, I'm not. This is awesome. It'd be so fun to be a Formula One driver. Yeah, it would be. This thing hugs the road. Holy cow. It feels really good. Yeah, that's awesome. That's like a roller coaster. <laughs> this is so freaking fun. Oh my god. I feel like we're a Formula One race car driver.
smile on your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. And then I take it a quarter at 91, 85, 87 miles an hour. <laughs> fucking go yeah it's weird though because it's not like super instant it's like i don't know it's interesting i want to ride with him now ask him if he'll take you in this car because i want to experience i like to experience the track like once because ask I didn't him if know. he'll take you in this car it was fun like getting loose though <laughs> you were making me nervous at the beginning too i'm like i was oh, nervous i'm like i know. You know what the car will do you don't know what the car is going to do. It's rear wheel drive. You can't really mess up. Makes me nervous. <laughs> you were right. She's Why did I good. make you nervous? No, I was like so, like some oh, turns. I was right. like, oh God. She did really good. Yeah, yeah. She I was, did. I think you don't know what the car is going to do.
patrol the back from flying farther. Now I really understand the track once I can like read it. Yeah. Cool. It's so windy out here. Oh, that was so much fun. It's so fun. <sighs> Now we're gonna go, to make the most of our day, go swing by Holly. Holly performance. Go say hi to everybody. If you guys didn't know, I work, I have worked with Holly with the Detroit Speed Components and I just wanna stay connected in the industry and they are a great company and they own a ton. They're one of the, probably the largest. Am I supposed to follow them? No. <laughs> oh my God, mom pulls gonna... out on the track. <laughs> Oh my god, he's so funny. Here, you want to watch him go by? Watch this. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> he's so nice. Yeah, the tornado's ripped through here. It's really sad. Like, all of these trees. This one's completely uprooted. That's crazy. And these houses are completely demolished over there. Just made it to Holly headquarters and waiting on them to bring us in. I've never been here before. So this is exciting. We've got Adam and Hunter about to show us around. This place is massive. My mom's asking me if I'm about to move here. <laughs> She's like, Kayla, this is where you belong. Back in here right now? Yeah. yeah, this is so cool. Yeah, Thank you. massive so I guess this is the first Holly car they started out as a car manufacturer which I had no idea about <laughs> that's really interesting not not the cutest car in my opinion but I would probably whip it back in the day <laughs> Put a on it. <laughs> thank you that's so cool Some blowers right there. All right, mom, you grab a blower, I'll distract them. <laughs> we'll run. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little windy, but that was such a great experience. Thank you again, Holly. They're all such amazing guys. I go to all their events. It's like, obviously, I have an LS in my Camaro. They make so many products for the LS, so thank you again for the tour. Sorry I couldn't show a lot of footage. A lot of secret stuff that are in the works at Holly. Well, thank you everybody for watching my video, and thank you so much to Holly Performance for getting me into the headquarters, seeing everything behind the scenes. Yes, I didn't really show a lot in this video, but they had a lot of secrets and fun upcoming things in the future that I'm sure everyone will be seeing soon. So I gotta keep that hush hush. <laughs> but, and also thank you for getting me on the track in the CA Corvette. That was a dream come true. I definitely wanna start doing more track things in the future. No, I'm not a professional. This is like literally the very beginning for everything track related and actually racing related things. I've been building my car for the last couple of years, but I finally want to get into more of like the track and racing scene. Um, it is just a little scary <laughs> in the beginning and for me, but we'll get there. Everyone's going to start somewhere. So I'm excited to show this whole beginning journey with all of you guys. And I actually got the grand championship package for the Holly LS Fest West event. And so that means I will be drag racing and going on the track, autocross, all that kind of stuff in Las Vegas in less than a month. I believe it's like the end of April in Las Vegas. So hopefully if you guys have your Camaros or whatever you got, bring them out. Come say hi. Maybe we can race each other and have a good time. I'm really excited for that event. That's been one of my most favorite events for the last like five years I've been going. So I don't think I scared my mom too much on the track. I was kind of worried about her going and like breaking too hard or taking turns too hard, but it was definitely a memory I will never forget. <laughs> 
Um, but anyways, thank you all for your support on my channel. Don't forget to press the subscribe button and the notifications button so you know when I post. I've been trying to push videos out like crazy. But as always, I hope you all have an amazing day or night, whatever time it is, wherever you're at. And I love you all so much. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.